What's going on fellow LEGO fans? It's Brixie here and today I have a very special video that I'm going to be adding to my LEGO how to playlist. It's something that I get asked all the time. How do I manage the dust or how do I clean my LEGO here in my LEGO room? And as you can see right now I'm currently vacuuming. This is probably the number one dust eliminator in any hobby room or LEGO room. Because not only does it remove the dust from the ground but it also removes the dust from around the room because the less dust that's on the ground when you're walking around there's less of that dust going up into the air so keeping your floor or your carpet in your Lego room clean and vacuumed is very important so that's the number one step for eliminating dust in your Lego room and keeping your Lego clean now I'm personally a huge fan of Dyson vacuums Dyson vacuums are absolutely amazing I use the Dyson Stowaway DC23 Motorhead. If you have animals, this is the best vacuum, hands down. It eliminates all the dust and hair from your carpet. I have, uh, or it comes with uh, lots of different head attachments, but for the carpet, I just use the primary one there. So, first step, vacuum your carpet a lot. Mine's currently really bad, really hairy, really dusty because I'm just getting into the final stages of my rebuild. So this is the first time I vacuumed in a while. So vacuuming is a great way to prevent more dust from accessing your Lego. Now, one other thing that I've heard lots of Lego fans talk about is that they have air filters in the room. That'll also eliminate the amount of dust circulating around in the room. But how do we actually keep our Lego clean or clean our Lego? So the Lego Helicarrier has a lot of black on it, so it's it gets really, really dirty. Black Lego gets really dirty. Now, the easiest way to uh, clean this thing would be just to remove all these parts because you don't want to put them all over the place. And just use your paintbrush and get in there and pull all that dust together. You see how it's all collecting here on the runway? Like, that's a lot of dust, right? And it gets in between all the studs. I've personally never cleaned this one yet, so it's really bad. Didn't realize how bad it was until it, uh, because it was sitting on the shelf, so I didn't realize how bad it was until I actually pulled it off. And then once I get it in a little group there, I just suck it up with the hand vac. And it eliminates all that dust. And the paintbrush is key for getting into all these grooves. Now the Swiffer would also work very well on this too because it's so fibrous so it can work as a tool here too but it's not going to get into these cracks and crevices as quickly as the paintbrush but it still does get in there. Yeah. So that's how I would go about cleaning my Lego sets. A combination of all three techniques, paintbrush, Swiffer and hand vac. Now another thing that I like to use is the ultimate duster. Honestly, it's simple, it's awesome, it's easy to use. This is the Swiffer Extendable Duster. This is perfect for accessing your Lego on high shelves and whatnot because it extends. So this will actually pull out and extend. And then also the head up here will also pivot. So it's very adjustable, really cool. And this here will easily come off and then be replaced. Now what's cool about this is when you when you have it on you can reach far places so if you have a big Lego city you can reach far away or you can remove it like this here and then you can dust it by hand with your hand so you can get in close places. These are really fibrous so they soak up a lot of dust even when it's in between all the studs. So Using a Swiffer Extendable is very, very key in my LEGO room as well. So right now you can sort of see what I mean when it's extended. I could be cleaning way over here in the hard to reach places and it would be collecting all the dust way over there. So Extendable is my number one tool for uh, taking care of dust here in the LEGO room. Especially before when my city was one big block. Now it's not too bad. I can get around so I don't really need the extendable But it's nice for getting to those hard to reach places like all the shelves all up there I can get up there and not have to take that Lego down like I could dust that uh, 
I guarantee that thing needs dusting really bad right now, the uh, opera house, and this could very easily get up there and dust it without damaging anything. So another great thing about the Dyson handbag is it can be used all over the Lego room, and it's got these bristles on the tip of it. So this attachment is really good for getting within all the studs of all the Lego plates. For example, you can see this Toys R Us roof is really dirty, so... It literally eliminates the dust immediately. And if you accidentally suck up some Lego, this thing will just pop open and you can and you can get it out. And it does base plates really well too. So the hand back is a great tool here in the Lego room. Now other things that collect a lot of dust are base plates. This base plate I don't know if you guys can see it in the camera, but it's an old Lego blue base plate, and it's absolutely filthy right now, like filthy. So when Lego becomes very filthy, you can use your methods, like you can use your paintbrush, but sometimes it's like caked with dust, so you have to clean it even better. So how do I go about cleaning base plates or Lego that are caked with dust? Well. I'm about to show you guys that as well. Okay, so I got my Lego base plate up here and my kitchen sink, and guess what? It's literally just going to join these clean dishes. All I'm gonna do is I'm gonna run this thing under some hot water. I'm gonna take my dish cleaning brush and I'm just gonna clean it with dish soap. All right, all right, so there we go. That base plate is like literally instantly brand new. Like just clean it with some water and some soap and a brush and away you go. I'm literally gonna put this with the other clean dishes, wait for it to dry. Oh, the bottom's dirty too. So I'll have to clean that up too. But who cares about the bottom really? And uh, away we go guys. So if you guys want, you guys can clean your dishes at a sink I mean, clean your dishes, clean your Lego with the dishes uh, at the sink here with some regular dish soap and a regular old uh, brush. Now, if you guys have lots of dirty Lego, another thing you can do is you can honestly refer or revert to this thing, your other dishwashing thing, which is the dishwasher. And it can clean base plates. It can also clean Lego bricks. How you do it is you take a mesh bag and you put all of your bricks into a mesh bag. So that prevents your bricks from flying all over the place and, and destroying your, uh, your dishwasher. But when you put all your, your Lego bricks into a mesh bag and then you put them in there and then you run it, they'll come out brand new. So that's a really good way of doing it. Other things you can do is you can take a big bucket, fill it up full of soapy hot water and just let them soak. That would also clean your Lego bricks or Lego base plates or any Lego parts at all. Yeah, so that's the combination of tools and processes I use here to keep my Lego clean and eliminate that never-ending dust problem in a combination of using uh, Dyson backs, Swiffers, and paintbrushes, and then dishwashers or sinks, just kitchen sinks. It works great. Let me know what you guys think by commenting below. If you guys think I missed something here, make sure you let me know because I'm curious what I missed. And if you guys like this video, give it a big thumbs up. Do appreciate the view as always. Have yourselves a great day, and I'm going to get back to cleaning here in the Lego room.